Calvin Rain here, and today we're going to be looking at how to use the field work mode in course play. Specifically, we're going to be using it to cultivate a field. So we got the John Deere 4555 here with the Will Rich 2800 cultivator. And for course play here, I still have it set on right click. So if you right click your mouse, that should open up the uh, course play mod here. Now, just to make note here, but I'm using version 6.01.00398 developer. Uh, at least at the time I'm recording this, I do believe this is the most recent version. Keep in mind, it is still a developer version. And we're, what, a year and a half into Farming Simulator here, but it's still developer. So uh, it's probably going to be that way a while yet. So anyway, uh, once you have course play open here, course play should only show you the modes that are available for the piece of equipment you have attached or whatever piece of equipment you're driving. Uh, in this case, we have transport mode, and then the one next to it here is fieldwork mode. If you mouse over them, it will show you fieldwork. Also, interesting enough, it shows you leveling and compacting. Oh, right, tractor, that would make sense. So we're going to click on fieldwork mode here. Uh, next, you're going to have to have your field mapped. Uh, course play will do this automatically when you open the or when you start your save game uh, if the fields are detectable. Now, if they're not detectable, you got a couple options. You can try manually detecting them. We've got to calculate current field edge path right down here. Also, as another option, is you can drive around the boundary of the field. Now, I should be able to calculate the current field edge path here. So, there we go. We got that calculated. Now, I already have this one uh, calculated, so I shouldn't have to uh, do this here. So, we're just going to cancel back out of that. But if you wanted to, that would be an option. Uh, you can calculate current e field edge path and then assign it a number. You know, So whatever number you want to assign it to. Like I said, in this case, I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, we're going to go to course generation right on the main screen of course play here, by the way. So that's uh, this tab right up here. So course generation. That's going to open up a whole new window here with a map on it and a whole bunch of options on the right-hand side here. Now, if you look at the field I chose, I tried to choose a field that would be um, somewhat interesting. This is a field, obviously, you're not probably going to throw a hired worker onto, right? You know, otherwise, just regular square fields, why do you need course play? That, you know, hired workers can usually take care of that, right? Yeah, usually. Uh, anyway, uh, if your fields are mappable, all you have to do, everyone, is click on the field. So notice I just clicked on the field there. Let's see if I uh, click on the field. It's not going to let me click on that field. Ah, okay, I can click on this one. So if I click on this field here, everyone, notice it says field 1 up there. Uh, I think I've got another field right over here, right? That one's field 6. Um, it's not letting me click on those. I don't know if I maybe don't have, have those mapped. Field 7 there. There's field 3. There's field 4. So again, we want to click on this field, field 5. Like I said, if you don't have them mapped, uh, you'll either have to manually map them by driving around the outside edge or see if you can get them to auto-detect and then assign them a field number. In this case, this map doesn't have field numbers on it, everyone, so you're going to have to manually auto-detect them, assign a number to them. Now, if your field already has numbers on it, great. It's a whole lot easier, you know. Click on field 5, you know, it should show up field 5 up there, right, so on and so forth. Okay, so starting location, I'm going to leave that where it is. Again, you can change that as needed. Starting direction, I'm going to leave that the way it is. You should be able to uh, just leave that default typically. Bypass islands, and this is why I chose this field. If you look on the map here, they're kind of hard to see, but there are three islands in this uh, field. Again, not hired worker friendly, but we're going to turn that on. Uh, we'll try simple. We can do circle. Circle, if I remember correctly, usually works the best for this. Again, everyone, you might have to try it a couple times to get yourself a mode that's going to work, right? Uh, working with 7.9. Again, course play should automatically detect the working with in the implement. Not always, but it usually does. Multiple tools. We're only using one. Uh, we're not going to bother with skip rows here. That should be fine. And headland. Uh, at least on most fields, especially a field like this where there's no room for course play to turn around at the edges of the field, you're going to want a headland. So let's go, I don't know, probably think three or so should be pretty good. Once you got all your options set here, again, there's all kinds of options in there. You can pretty much play with the options, whatever you think will work the best for the field you're on. Again, it's probably going to take some experience. Once you get the hang of course play, you'll be generating courses like uh, nothing here. And again, most of the stuff here I just leave default. And of course, if you don't have islands, you don't have to turn that on. Don't it, it gets a little derpy sometimes, everyone, with uh, course play and islands. But uh, sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it won't. We'll see once what we end up with here. Uh, just from past experience, yeah, this one over here, everyone, it doesn't want to avoid that one. You can see it, like, tried to, but then it gave up, right? So uh, these two, on the other hand, it did a nice job of. So you can see these two will be fine. That one over there is going to obviously be a problem. Now, I could go back and play with the settings some more. Um, eventually, I might be able to get that out of there. But uh, for this sample of this video, everyone... We're just going to call that good. 
Uh, you can save that if you want. I'm not going to bother saving it in this case here. We're just going to save, leave this as a temporary course. Uh, drive course, nearest waypoint. Let's actually set that to the first waypoint. Just make sure it starts at the first. And maybe I'm going to realign here just a little bit. Course play appreciates it if you uh, kind of get itself aligned with the first waypoint. Okay, and then we're going to drive the course. Like I said, starting at the first waypoint there. And the fieldwork course like this, that one is probably one of the uh, more reliable uh, course play uh, type activities here with course play. It usually works pretty good. Uh, you usually don't have a whole lot of trouble with it. Other than, again, like I said, you can see on that course there, everyone, we're going to obviously have a problem with the headland that's over there. Uh, again, if you play around with the course enough, you might be able to finally get that out of there. Kind of hard to say, but uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so per course play, it's going to take itself an hour and eight minutes to cultivate this field. That'll probably be a pretty close number. Might be off by a couple of minutes at the most there, but that's usually fairly accurate. Uh, just to note as well, you can uh, play around with the other options as well if you want. Uh, again, I usually don't uh, bother changing these, especially for cultivating. Uh, you might get into some of this stuff a little more if you're running multiple tools and or uh, combines. Then you might want to get into some of this stuff. But uh, uh, for example, if you were to say run multiple cultivators on this field. Now this field, I wouldn't say is big enough to do that. I won't try it. I won't advise it. You can if you want. But uh, you would probably want to turn on vehicle convoy mode. What a vehicle convoy mode allows is for vehicles to uh, what I call standoff distance, meaning they will not get any closer than the amount you have set here. So in this case, 100 meters. They'll stay 100 meters apart. Uh, particularly important for like harvesting stuff like that where you don't want the combines getting right up next to each other, making it impossible to unload them, right? Uh, again, cultivating this field, not going to be a problem. Uh, speed, if you want to slow them down for some reason. Uh, we got other settings here. Again, we want to see what the course actually look like. See it's following it right there. Uh, you do have an advanced setting screen. Again, I haven't really used these options a whole lot. There's some additional options up there. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go back to this one more time. This is one option I do play with sometime. Uh, when to raise and when to lower. Uh, when plowing and cultivating, sometimes I will switch that around. I like to use late and early. So when to raise implement, late. Meaning when it gets to the end, it's going to raise it late rather than early. So hopefully it'll go past where it's plowing, right? And then same thing when it goes to lowering. Hopefully it'll lower it early, meaning it'll lower it before it gets to where it needs to be, right? Just keep in mind that might not be safe depending on whatever you're trying to do, but uh, that's usually the way I like to have it. Uh, load course is at startup. I like to leave that deactivated. Uh, otherwise, it can really add to the load time on your save game. Just a little more detail than what we're going into with necessarily generating this course here, but that's my preference. Uh, scan fields automatically. Doesn't necessarily work on this map because this map doesn't have define fields on it, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else to note? I think we're looking pretty good here. Uh, again, all stuff, if you're you know running multiple tools, combine stuff like that, really don't need it for uh, cultivating here. So anyway, that, everyone, is how you generate a course, a field work course here using course play. Again, keep in mind, I'm using developer mode, so things are possibly subject to change. Some of the windows might change slightly. But at least in the uh, version we're currently using, that is how you generate a fieldwork course. Uh, the same thing can be used for combines, plowing, cultivating, uh, mowing grass, uh, raking. Almost everything uses the fieldwork mode. So, yeah, the, the fieldwork mode gets used a lot. So, again, everyone, if you have any comments or questions about this, be sure to throw them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.